we have one thing to be grateful for, anyway. Sex won't be rearing its ugly little head. <laughs> Beg your pardon? Well, in my experience, it isn't race or religion that causes the problems. It's usually the presence of some foreign beauty. Jealousies, intrigues, all that sort of thing. Yes, well, looking at my class, I don't think we'd be too bothered with anything like that. I come to learn English. Have I come to the right place? Mm -hmm. I hope you don't think I was, uh, how you say, too forward? No, no, I'm sure you weren't in any way to blame at all. Oh, she is. <laughs> she is beautiful. She is uh, wonderful. <laughs> she is... Yes, yes, thank you, Max. <laughs> uh, we are lucky to have such great... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but the is... Very true. I mean, uh, thank you. Danielle, would you like to read us your essay? What I like about England by Mademoiselle Danielle Favre, Telephone 246. <laughs> <laughs> A good uh, carry on. Excuse me. Yes, Giovanni. Was that 8021 or 8013? <laughs> uh, 8021. No, never mind what number it was. You're here to improve your English, not chat up other students. Uh, you are absolutely right, Professor. It's just. I'd like to improve my French as well. Yes. Well, you can do that in your own time. Carry on, Daniel. Thank you. I like England because the grass is so green and the people are so nice. People? Yes. <laughs> Especially the man. Quiet, quiet. <laughs> Englishmen are so charming, so handsome and so sexy. <laughs> Silence, please. Yeah, I think that'll do, Daniel. But I've written much more. Hmm? All about the things I like to do at night. <laughs> yes, well, I don't think we'd better go into those. I'll be reading all your essays later. Uh... Oh, there you are. You sit here. Thank huh? you. Merci. I get the coffee. Coffee black? Thank you, please. Coffee black. Hey, I'll get the coffee for Danielle. Too bad. Sugar? Merci. Uh, how about the biscuit? Do you like the biscuit? I would like that. Good. I'll be back. <laughs> Danielle? Um, what uh, you do uh, half the class? I go and learn the English. Hey, I'm gonna learn the English as well. Maybe we learn together, huh? Yes, but what about poor Max? Yeah, what about the poor Max? I'm crying my eyes out. <sighs> I have an idea. I have uh, lots of ideas. Why not you and Max study together, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm gonna sit here. No, it's me who's gonna be sitting here. And before you were sit over there. And before you were sit over there. You take it on me. Who, me? You go back, sit where you were before. No, I sit here. You not sit here. Ha. Who's going to be stopping me? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Yourself. You think you're tough? Come out the side. <laughs> OK. <laughs> where are you going? We go outside to have a punch down. You mean a punch down? <laughs> I'm going to, uh, how you say, uh, knock his bloody block off. <laughs> we see who's a bloody blocker is a knocker off. <laughs> oh, just a minute. What is all this about? I tell you, Mr. White. Brown. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> it's about where we sit. Well, what's wrong with where you were sitting before? It's uh, my eyes, Professor. I've got to sit nearer the front. Here. <laughs> Oh, I see, and I suppose it's got nothing to do with the fact that Danielle is sitting here too? She is? <laughs> <laughs> I never noticed! You see, so my eyes, I'm a little short-sighted. 
And also a much bigger liar. It's not true, Mr. Green. The name is Brown. <laughs> you see, I'm a colorblind as <laughs> well. And Max, I suppose you've got trouble with your eyes as well, have you? Oh, no, no, no. My eyes are okay. Uh, it's my ears. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not hearing very well. That's a likely story. What you say? <laughs> I say you both go back and sit where you were sitting before. Now. Santa Maria. Danielle, what about you? Oh, I have a French joke for you. Good. Yes, I'll tell you about the Catholic priest. Yeah, that sounds That's better, well. yes. Come on. That's... No, no, no. From... Tell us a look. Come on, Danielle. <laughs> well, there was this priest out walking, and a gendarme comes up to him and say, Further, come quickly. There's a man on top of the Eiffel Tower, and he's going to jump. So the father goes to the tower and sees this man. What are you doing? You're mad. Think of your family. Think of your wife. So the man, he says, my wife has left me. I have no family. So I jump. So the priest, he tries one more time. So he says, but it is a sin against the Catholic Church. And the man, he says, I am not a Catholic. OK, says the priest, jump. <laughs> Monsieur Brown, I have spilled all the milk all over my dress, and now it will be ruined. You haven't spilled the whole pint, have you? That was for day and tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, you better go and sponge it off in the bathroom. <coughs> Are you all right? You have gone a funny colour. I think it was something I just drank. <laughs> Shall I give you the kiss of life? Yes. No, 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 no. I'll catch my cold. You can give me the kiss of life, please. <laughs> me too. So do you like the kissing, yes? Oh, yes. Yes, please. Oh, good. I shall give both of you the most beautiful French kiss. Mm. Oh. Oh, I wonder who's going to be first. Close your eyes. There. <laughs> We are all going to die. <laughs> Nobody is going to die. What we need is something to attract the attention of the passerby. Yeah. yeah. Danielle should wave from window by herself. Yes, it still may not be sufficient to attract enough attention. It would if she took her clothes off. <laughs> That's a good idea. No, it isn't. It's just a sit, sit down. Every, go on. Oh, who shall we have next? Ah, Danielle. Wyatt. You are the nicest banker I have seen. Yeah, so we're not in the bank now. I want you to imagine something different. Mm, I have very good imagination. Yes, I'm sure you have. Now, I want you to... Uh, you, you were going to the post office, and I am the assistant. Oh. Excuse me, can you help me? Certainly, madam. What is it you wish? How much it is a letter to post? Uh, is it to somewhere in England? No, it is a Swiss letter. A Swiss letter? Yes, I write to my boyfriend in Switzerland. Yeah, well, it's more correct to say that you want to send a letter to Switzerland, not a Swiss letter. It could be rather embarrassing if you were writing to someone in France. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. I think I need some extra English lesson. Maybe I could stay here with you after class? No, I don't think we could do that. Well, I, I come home with you and you can teach me a lot, sir. Yes, I'm sure I could, but I think you know quite sufficient already. <laughs> now, is there anything else you want? Yes, but I cannot tell you here. Oh, from the post office? No, nothing. Hmm. Well, all right. Uh, thank you, Daniel. That'll do. <laughs> Now it is my turn to give you something. Yes, Daniel. <laughs> but first, I wish you happy birthday as we do in France. <laughs> quiet, quiet. Thank you, da uh, thank you, Daniel. Oh, um, 
And I have something very French. Oh, thank you. Oh, eau de toilette. Merci beaucoup. Je vous en prie. It is a pleasure for me to give you something. Excuse, please. What is the nature of the gift you are receiving from Daniel? Eau de toilette. Toilet water. You put it on your face. <laughs> you are putting water from the toilet on your face? Danielle, K. K for kind-hearted. Good. K for kiss. Mm. <laughs> Listen, I think that'll do, Danielle. Thank you. Gender is the grammatical classification of the sex of proper nouns. But you are learning about English, not about sex. <laughs> you cannot learn sex from books, Ranjit. You ever have it or you don't have it. I have it. I know all about sex. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> uh, so may I remind you that we're not here to discuss sex. Why not? It is very interesting subject. Yes, I'm aware of that, but there's a time and a place for everything. You tell me the time and the place, and I shall be there. Quiet, <laughs> please. Goodbye. Goodbye. Danielle? There will always be a place for you. Right here. <laughs> Very kind of you. <laughs> right, now who should we start with? Danielle? How did you spend your weekend? I went to Brighton with my new boyfriend. Oh, very nice. And he was very naughty. Yeah, so people usually are in Brighton. <laughs> no, he was naughty on the motorway. Was he? Why, oh. oh, <laughs> The police were not very happy. Oh, I'm sure they weren't. They made him stop the car. You mean he was driving at the time? Of course. <laughs> How else would he be doing the hundred miles an hour? You mean he was speeding? Yes. What did you think he was doing? <laughs> the first prize is a weekend for two in Paris. Oh, I'll take one. I wouldn't say no to a weekend in Paris. <laughs> Why not we share the ticket together? Maybe we can share the weekend too. <laughs> that is immoral. Oh, but it's very nice. <laughs> I am sure that Mr. Brown wouldn't dream of doing any such thing. Would you, Mr. Brown? No, no, of course not. <laughs> Your book, Danielle. Thank you, Max. It's all right. Your handbag. Just a minute. Hey, next time you carry the handbag, huh? <laughs> no, I think it suits you more. <laughs> hey, give me a kiss. <laughs> Your handbag. Thank you, Giovanni. You just missed it. We are having our photographs taken by Taro. Taro, I would very much like you to take a photograph of me. Hey, I take your picture. You have not the camera. Sure, I got the camera at home. You come back with me after the class and we take lots of pictures. And then we can see what develops. Eh? What do you say? I say no. You want a picture in classroom? Yes. How about here? Mm. Bellissima, huh? Morpho. Magnifica. Hey, higher. Excuse, please. No more higher. You are giving me naughty thoughts. <laughs> me too, but I'm liking them very much. <laughs> now I take hook. Ready? Ready. Madre mia. No good. No good? You must be joking. She's beautiful. Two clothes can get in, no? Top half. Or bottom. But you are not taking her bottom. <laughs> Just take the head and the shoulders. Yeah, you can take one of the legs for me after. <laughs> okay. Very good. Ready? Ready. Look at the camera. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, I'm having my photograph taken. Really? Very nice. <laughs> can you do me a big favor? What sort of favor? I would like to have a photograph taken with you. Yes, I don't think we've got time for that sort of thing. Oh, please, it's for my mother and father. I've told them all about you and they would love to have a photo. Yes, well... Oh, uh, come on, Mr. Brown. I think I'll take a couple of minutes. Thank you, Andre. Is that all right with you, Taro? <laughs> yes. Right. You sit here. Yeah, what about you? I'll sit on your knees. <laughs> yeah. You sure this is for your parents? Of course. Mm. Ready? Look at the camera. Mm. 
We were having our photograph taken. I was not aware that photography was included in the curriculum. Uh, yes, well, would you all sit down, please? And, uh, Danielle, would you stand up? <laughs> but what about our photo? Yeah, well, we'll see about that later, all right? Go and sit down. Come, Monsieur Brown, I must have you in bed. Huh? Oh, I see what you mean. Let me tuck you in. <laughs> Yes, I'm starting to feel warm all over now. <laughs> Jerry Lane and I will make you some hot milk. Master G? No. Oh. Hello. Hot bottle. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. Oh, seal that is, would you? What are you doing here? I warm bed for Master G. Hi. <laughs> It's all right, Miss Courtney. She means she was just warming a hot water bottle for me. Mr. Brown, it is highly improper for this young lady to be here alone with a man. Oh, well, I can assure you, Miss Courtney, that nothing improper is taking place. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Brown, where can I hang my dress? Ah. So late, Mr. Brown. Oh, that's all right, Danielle. Were you held up by the traffic? No, I was held up by a man. Tervens? You, you mean a mugger? I do not know his name. <laughs> but he works as a woodwork teacher here in the school. One of the teachers here tried to rob you? No, not rob me. Oh, well, surely not... Uh... He was trying to chatter me up. Oh, I see. He wanted to take me out. You want I give him a bunch of fivers? <laughs> He's bigger than you, Max. Everybody's bigger than Max. Hey! Watch what you're saying, huh? Uh, listen, Nana Mascuri, you don't frag me. Okay, come outside. Oh. No, all right, settle down, you two. Come on. Uh, don't worry about it, Daniel. I'm sure that this uh, woodwork teacher, whatever his name is, was only trying to be friendly. But he was trying to be more than friendly. He would not let me go past until I agreed to have dinner with him. Oh, he does seem to have been rather persistent. Then, Eureka! I have heard you say a brainwash. Wait. Yes. I tell him I cannot go out with him because I am engaged to be married. Ah, very good. Quick thinking. There's only one problem. What was that? I tell him I am engaged to be married to you. <laughs> Me? Yes. It was a good idea, yes? It was a good idea, no. Did anybody overhear you? Only Gladys. Oh, great. That's worse than putting it on news at ten. It'll be all over the school by now. What do you think? <laughs> Merci, Jerry. Thank you. like whole times. Hey, it's a big surprise, eh, Professor? <laughs> well, let's say it's more of a disappointment. Oh, but I'm not disappointed to be back. <gasps> Who's that? Uh, this is Ingrid. She is Swedish. She's also sitting in my seat. You will move, yes? I will move, no. Ah. You can come and sit next to me. No, you sit next to me. That's yeah. right. You sit next to Giovanni and Max, because I want to sit here. Yeah, I'm sorry, Danielle, but I think it's important that new students should sit at the front. I don't like you. I'm so very. You can come and sit next to me. Hey, sit a between us. Okay. <laughs> hey, you like England, no? Yeah, I also very much like teacher. <laughs> you not make the eyes at Monsieur Brown. If I want, I will. Monsieur Brown does not like the blonde ladies. <laughs> Swedish girls are the beautiful. <laughs> How about the Swedish girl? They are too big in the bosom. French girls are too big in the mouth. <laughs> Tanya, as handsome as a prince, as ugly as a Swede. No, 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 no. As ugly as sin. Ten p. It was worse. It. <laughs> At last, someone has answered a question correctly. Well done, Ingrid. The question was easy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Is yes, yours was. Listen how she speaks the English, all backwards to front. <laughs> Girls, come on, Ingrid, this... Where came from? Hey. hey! When we get on coach, you and me, we sit together, okay? Hey, I'm a sit next to Daniel, you gotta sit next to Ingrid. Eh, uh, no, 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 no. Ingrid sits beside me. Hey, I would very much like to sit with Ingrid. What are you arguing about now? It's about where we sit on the coach, Professori. That Daniel is desperate to sit next to me. <laughs> is that right, Daniel? No. Oh. You see, she wants to sit next to me. Yes? No. <laughs> I want to sit next to Monsieur Brown. Uh, I like Mr. Um, Brown to sit the, with. The, 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 you not sit next to Monsieur Brown, you stood this yeah, oh, hey, 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 No, anymore. Yeah. Right, everybody sit down in your places, please. Yeah. Daniel, please let it be me. <laughs> Zoltan. Santa Maria. <laughs> uh, you will sit next to Danielle on the coach. <laughs> ah, thank you. It's all right. <laughs> Are you going away? Only for one night. I'm having my flat painted. That's why I can't sleep there. You are having your bed painted also? No. It's just that I, I can't stand the smell of fresh gloss paint. Where will you be sleeping tonight? Well, I'll probably stay at the YMCA. Eh, uh, much better than the YWCA. <laughs> I suppose any of you have a spare room, do you? You are very welcome to come and stay with me. Have you got a spare room? No, but I have a very big bed. <laughs> yes, well, thank you for the offer, but I think it had better be the YMCA. Oh. Then we all have at a party. No, not all. I make a date with Danielle. We all going to have a dance. Right? All right. Senorita. All right. Enjoy, And now from France, the delightful Danielle. Thank, thank you. La, 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Do you know any of the words, Daniel? I do not sing the words. I just dance to the music. And what is all this off business? That is when I'm taking off my clothes. You can't have that sort of thing going on. It is not going on, it is coming off. <laughs> not in my school. But I... Yeah, well, thank you, Daniel. Well done. Oh, Jolly good. Yes, <laughs> Mr. Giovanni Capello and Miss Favreau. Take the book in your right hand and read what's on the card. Not the likely. <laughs> Why not to swear on a Protestant Bible? We are Catholics. I swear by the Pope. Give him a Catholic Bible. Okay, cokey. <laughs> I promise I'm going to tell all of the truth. Me too. Carry on. <laughs> Your Honor, <clears throat> it's like it is. Mr. Brown asked us to visit television studios to see how television programs are made. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? We go to have a look round. You're not allowed in here without a pass. But I'm sure you can look the other way. Rules are made to be broken, no? Not by me, no. But it's for our own work. Sorry. <laughs> hey! What's that down there? Where? Nobody's going to find hey, us here. Santa Maria. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Quick, in here. 
Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of World of Sport. This afternoon on our search for sporting action... Excuse me. But which way do we go? Do you mind? I'm on air. Hey, I've seen you someplace before. You don't have to look like that David Dickey. <laughs> Davis, you spaghetti. Ah, oh, that's right. Look, I am Dickie Davis, and I'm trying to do a program. I'm very sorry about that, but when the program is live, anything can happen, can't it? As I was hey, saying... David, can I have your autograph, please? <laughs> Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. My first guest tonight has flown across the Atlantic specially to be with us. I think uh, perhaps he's best known... <laughs> I know you. It's Sir Michael Parkington. It's not a team on Andrews. Oh, sorry. I... Oh, my God. Your Honour, I rest uh, my bag. No, no. Don't you, you rest your case. Okay, cocky, I rest uh, my bag and uh, my case. <laughs> Silence! What? What are you doing? Ah, I make plenty money with Daniel. Yeah, but doing what? Selling kisses. Oh, so we have plenty fun. How much are you selling your kisses for? 5p, 10p and 15p. But what's the difference? Uh, I show you. <laughs> For five p, you kiss on the one cheek. Mm -hmm. For ten p, you kiss on the both cheek. Mm -hmm. And for fifteen p. Yeah. <laughs> 